Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 5-22-2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 107. And uh, today was a, uh, a simple one and uh, quick and short, so this should be a pretty short video. Um, I got through um, number four here. Uh, create a bare bones homepage for a restaurant. Include an image, headline, and some copy about how wonderful the restaurant is. At this point, it's okay to hard code these into HTML for now just to see how they look on the page. And that's exactly it. And so that's what I did. So let's get started. So here's the HTML. And as uh, per last uh, video, we are in the disk folder uh, and we're editing the index.html directly because that is uh, is where the file's located. So originally I had uh, probably some overcomplication. So the div ID content uh, div here, uh, that's where um, where we had put that in from the last, uh, I think, video video or two ago it told us to put the div ID content into our HTML and that was it and so um, I was probably over complicating it here uh, before I deleted all of it but I had a div for uh, h1 I had a different or no h1 was by itself but I had a different div individual uh, child div for image child div for uh, p, p tag so I removed all that and just went with simplicity. So I have an H1 tag says welcome to JB JB's Tech Talk Restaurant and Lounge and I have an image that I went out to uh, unsplash and received. Uh, make sure you go out to sites like that when you receive go to get images so that you don't have copyright violations and I inserted that there at, with a class of top image and alternate of image of restaurant for uh, screen readers and I have three p tags with class of landing copy landing page copy and basically just says this is an upscale restaurant that touts its elegance and spacious dining lounge area attire required for this facility is business casual at a minimum please thanks management I could have put that all in one p tag uh, but I decided just to split it out and they all have the same class because I'm I wrote some CSS so uh, so that's the addition to the HTML, and then with the asset, I created a uh, assets uh, folder inside of Source. I did a little bit of a uh, checking into the documentation, and because originally I was putting everything in the dist folder, and really nothing should go into your dist folder as of right now, as I understand, except your index.html. Uh, which is you know your boilerplate and all the extra stuff we're looking at right now and then your for now the main.js which is the uh, which is the uh, compiled JavaScript that webpack create creates we don't actually touch touch or mess with that um, that's created and maintained on its own for right now anyway for what, where we're at in the learning modules and then so everything else goes into source and you have to um, point to it. Uh, later we'll, re we'll rewrite this and remove it, uh, but for right now since we're hard coding into HTML, we're just pointing it to, uh, so what dot dot does in front is that, uh, see currently we're in index inside of disk, so we need to go up to folders from disk to JB restaurants page, and then uh, that is where we will come back down to into source and then into assets and then restaurants. So that's why that double dots there takes us up to the parent. And then we go down through source, assets, restaurant image .jpeg. And same thing with the style sheet. I have a link for uh, relative style sheet here. Same thing, dot dot to get to up to to the sort to the parent page uh, where everything lives. JD restaurant J J S restaurants page. Sorry about that. Um, and then uh, we go down through source again and then uh, style sheets right here inside of source so one less uh, folder than the assets because uh, style sheet is not inside the assets folder just no no particular reason it's just how I did it um, but nevertheless everything is in source uh, for right now that's how we're learning how to do it so your your daily editing code is in source so hope I didn't over explain that but explain that enough to make sense so 
in the styling uh, page, I have a body tag uh, or body uh, selector that has a background color of brown, just 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 for difference, just because, just to be different. And then I have a uh, pound content because that's the ID selector for the for the content of the page. And I commented out display flex and justify content center because that was what I was using prior when I was kind of overcomplicating things. I had a flex. I was using flex and I had multiple divs and I just felt like uh, it, it said in the requirements to keep it simple and keep it bare bones and I, I felt like I was overcomplicating it and it was going to cause me problems down the road with webpack so I decided to get rid of that so I do have a min height of 100 VH to the screen so that the content fills the screen um, I zeroed out the margin and padding and I have text align center so that everything that comes inside of content is uh, centered and then I have a targeted selector for a top image. If you recall, this is for the uh, this is the class for the image. I just have a margin of 25 pixels around the image just to give it a little bit of space. And then I have a targeted uh, selector for landing page copy, and that's the class for the um, for the text at the bottom, as you'll see in a moment. And I'll show you in the browser. It's got a color white smoke uh, font family. Gil Sands, Gil Sands MT, Calibre, uh, Tree Bucket MS, and Sans Serif as the final backup. Um, I just picked those uh, out of one of the selectors of the IntelliSense. I didn't um, type them. I didn't specifically pick those on purpose. Uh, font weight 900, so it's bold. And then font style is italic, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And that's the CSS. And so this is what it looks like in the browser. And here's here's Un Unsplash where I got the image from. Uh, make sure uh, you don't have to copy this one per se. Uh, be creative, get your own material. But go out to this page or other, there's a couple other ones I don't remember off the top of my head, but a couple other sites that uh, Top recommends that you can go to for uh, free non-copyrighted images. Uh, but this is just the one off the top of my head that I remembered. And so here's the restaurant page, refresh it, and it says, again, welcome to JB's Tech Talk Rec Restaurant and Lounge. Um, here's, a, here's the image, and there's padding around it, and then it says, there's my, there's my uh, copy caption. And if we have 12, they'll take a look at it. There is the, I still have the, the index.js uh, attached via the script, and it still counts a logging, so that still works and not broke. Um, and I also do not have, I still have the uh, terminal running for the uh, listener for Webpack. So it automatically updates everything uh, and rebundles it as I go along. And so all I have to do is just refresh the page because, like I said, I'm not using, like I said in one of my previous videos, I'm not using Live Server right now. So I have to refresh the page here. I'm doing that on purpose because I don't want to, if we end up using uh, Webpack's automated. Uh, automated material. I don't want to uh, um, run into issues where I'm, where I'm, where I've got that trying to do automation and and do a, and still have live server running on the uh, editor. So that's why it's like that. And that is about it. So here I took a screenshot or a copy it just in case I wanted to add my divs back in later. So this is what I had originally in my HTML, and it was just it seemed overly complicated unnecessarily so that's when I had the flex uh, flex container on and these were these ended up being uh, flex items you know I had class a headline and image and I just took that out because it just it just uh, seemed overly complicated and it even says in the uh, right here uh, create bare bones home page so just just keeping it simple so next time we're going to remove, uh, it sounds counterintuitive, but we just want to get the basics down to see the page. And then in, in number five, we're going to remove all the HTML and uh, use DOM manipulation to have JavaScript do that instead. So this will be kind of interesting and integrating Webpack into that at the same time. So that is it for today. Um, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. And let me know in the comments section how you guys are doing. And until next time, see ya.